and welcome back to the Reapers. So we've just been watching Dubai at night and now we've got to do the honourable thing that any honourable gentleman would do, which is to land his or her F-18 on the CV at night. Is it going to work? No, of course it's not going to work. We're going to give it a go because we are men of the night. I'm coming, Sherman. All right, let me help you um, get to where you need to go. Um, on your UFC, press the tag can button. This is terrible. UFC. Uh, yep, attack and is on. I'm just trying not to die. You just keep the plane in level flight. Oh, Once no. you press that, press the on off <clears throat> button. Do you mean ILS, Sherman? No, that can. Right, stand by. On off. Okay, I pressed it. It didn't actually do anything. The on off, but okay. If your if your attack can has come up, press the on off. You should see the on thing come on the f uh, top screen. Must have done something wrong. Stand by. Why uh, am I okay, meant to take me? Do I have to be in a mode or something? A certain mode? You have to have tack can mode up on the UFC, then press and press down on the on off button. You will see on appear. Oh, oh yes, it worked this time. It didn't work last time. Yes, I have on. All right, outstanding. Now press clear, type 15, and press enter. Then click on the T and R option. That will activate the tack can for the ship, which is codenamed Father in the real world. And don't hate me, Sherman, but I missed all of that because I was storing. Right, talk again. <laughs> clear the currently. Press the clear button. Type in 15. Press enter, and then select transmit and receive. That will give you the tack can of the aircraft carrier. Right. Okay. Then, I, I cleared. I pressed 15. I press enter, and I press TR transmit receive. Roger. Right now. Uh, if you go and look down your map page and you click the tap can option on the top right button, it should display the tap can as a three-way symbol on that display. Okay, I've pressed tap can. Um, I'm not really sure what I'm looking at. What do you see on your screen, on your lower screen, DDI? Wait, one. I'm just conducting a bolter. Conduct that bolter. I don't see any um, carrier or anything. You are looking for a symbol which... It's a, th it's a three-pointed symbol. Kind yes. of looks like a fidget spinner. Yeah, I see it, Sherman. What do I do with it? Well, I apologize to the internet for making that reference. Roger. We like the Carl Vincent. Is that my carrier, It's Sherman? not the Carl Vincent. Okay. Yes, that is your t that is your TACAN signal, which in this case is the TACAN signal of the Stennis. Oh, what's the Stennis? I thought the Stennis was the Carl Vinson. Have I got that wrong? You have got it wrong. The Stennis is the carrier that is um, we have, we've been taking off and landing on this whole time. I had no idea. Right. Okay. It's in. It's in oh, fuck, I forget the name. I think Enterprise Class Nuclear Carrier. Shall I turn to it, Chairman? Am I meant to be turning to it? Yes, fly towards it, and let me know if you can see its lights. Oh, this is going to be horrific. I can, I can see exactly Jack. If, if you're sitting on the internet thinking, hmm, all I can see is black, um, I'm bored. Just, well, just keep level flight and uh, keep coming towards the carrier. Roger, I'm, I'm going to use the numbers. Use the gauges. The gauges are there for the reason, guys. Don't ignore the gauges. Oops, that was a bit steep. Coming. I may dump fuel as well. Maybe not yet. Right, Mr. Stennis. It doesn't really give me a bearing to the Stennis. It shows me where it is, but it doesn't really give me... Well... Can I zoom in and zoom out, Germain? Scale button on the top of the map page. We've been through this. My apologies. Yes, you're right. You weren't lying. Okay, 10 miles and closing. Okay, I like Takan, as it turns out, and I like... DDI question mark? What's this called? ANCPM or something? It wasn't it. The advanced multicolor display. Yeah. The right. AMP. AMP. Yeah. Roger that. Okay, I'm on scale ten miles. The coal. The Dennis. What is this? Dennis is right ahead of me. Yes. This is why I'm not a real Harrier pilot. This is why I'm not a real Hornet pilot. You see, I wouldn't remember any other names. I'm coming, Sherman. Yes. Right, don't stick it in the drink cap. Just don't stick it in the drink. Just keep your uh, artificial horizon oh, uh, or your... Keep your flight path marker on the artificial oh. horizon and you won't go into the drink. Cap went 700 feet. 
Oh, that was close. Ah, hello. It's not quite where the Takan said, but there is an aircraft carrier on my left. Are there more than one aircraft carrier? Is there a fleet here, Germain? There is a fleet here. Oh right. god, 100 feet power. I found an aircraft carrier. I don't know what it is. I don't know who it is. Well, if you could see it, it's probably rather well illuminated. Well, it, I'm more it is. interested it is. Is where the, the lights will react. I, I see you, Shane. I'm behind you. I'm behind you. That I am basically Hello. horrifically botching up a carrier approach. Right. I can't even tell which way around I'm the sure. carrier is. Alright, so the carrier is currently heading... Uh, I went in front of you. One. Fuck, I almost hit you. My sincere apologies. And no swearing. No more swearing cap. We've got to be cap friendly. Family friendly. Right, I see it, Sherman. There's no way anyone in real life or on a game could land on that. That's cap sending you that right now. You cannot land what on I that. What I will say is that some of the features which are currently not available in early access definitely help with this. Right. But yes, I have done this before and I'm going to do it again. Okay, mm I'm telling you, you can't do it. Okay, I see it. I see it. I, I think I see it. I'm slowing down. Uh, yeah, I see it. I'm coming in. I've just seen it. Okay, I see it. I see it. I see it. How high are we? Oh, in the drink. I'm in the drink. I'm in the drink. 300 feet, Sherman. That, and I've lost it. That altitude warning I mentioned to you would earlier be nice. would, would be, be nice. very useful. Roger. I have complete lost situational awareness now. I've no idea what's going on. Which way's up? Which way's up? Which way's up? Which way? Which way's up? Please. Uh, use the artificial horizon indicator in your HUD. That was 200 feet. <laughs> okay. Where is it, Chairman? Where is the artificial horizon? I can't see it. It's represented as a solid green line on your HUD. It's broken in the middle right, where your yeah, flight path yeah. marker would be. Roger. Okay. Right. To use that. Right, I'm concentrating. It's, it's trying to look around and find the carrier and look at the HUD at the same time. That's the problem. Right. All right, I'm down. Yeah, you bollock, bollock, sorry. Right, Sherman, you've got to... So eye what was that about nobody being able to do this? Well, the internet didn't see it, so it didn't happen. Well, let's see if we can get cap down, shall we? Can you can you yeah. guide me on some kind of path so I know where to go? Because I can't look at that one yeah. pixel and try and navigate. It's... Right, what I need you to do is use your communications menu to cont use your communications menu to contact the Stennis and uh, call the inbound. Uh Can you remember how to? It was right out and by your standard communications menu. Yes, ATC. Thank God. Right, what do the, I want? Main the, ATC. The Stennis one. She sends a two and. Inbound. Inbound. Okay, I have request inbound. Right, so if I'm not mistaken, once... Yeah, the lights have come on okay, on the stairs now. Okay, it's told me, fly heading 214 for 11, QFE, runway 31. Okay, 241 for 11. Yes, sir, Mr. Senator. Captain's all over it. Right, so if you look down to the status, you'll notice that it's yeah. suddenly substantially more oh, illuminated. Oh, thank you, Sherman. Nice, big, sexy. Right, that's much better. Still a bit... Right, so heavy. what you want to do is get down, reset your flaps down now, and get right. to 250 knots and lower your gear. Doing that. We can do this, we can do this, we can do this. Right, so once you're on final for your landing approach, Try and keep your Hornet's nose at about 5 degrees above the horizon and keep the flight path marker on the uh, landing area using your power to adjust your height. Power to adjust height, 5 degrees above thingy. Guarantee I'll cock all of that up, but okay. Right, air brake out. Alright. And air brake up and gear down. Alright, now do a descending left turn to get onto your final heading. Big flaps. A light descent. Light descent. I'm going to turn the hook down now before I forget. Hooky, hooky, hooky. Right, doing my yeah. landing check. The correct straight. thing to do is to put the hook down first. Hey firm, I've got all three down. I've got my landing indications on. Shall I request landing now? Uh, that shouldn't be necessary at this point, but you can do it anyway. I'm going to do it because I need him to tell me a heading where to go. Heading, please, Mr. Stennis. You can see the lights Valley from Stennis. here. Yep, yep. I've got a good view now. I think the sun's coming up. 
Thank right, I suggest you kill your afterburners though. I need it, I'm stalling. No, you're right. You're fine. Right, how's my orientation, Shermaine? Alright, you're on... You're on the relative glide path, I'll get into the LSO cam. I can't tell my angle at all. Where my how my angle is? I think it's bad. I think it's bad. Right. No, you're fine. Just you need to come I'm bad. right. I'm really bad. Raise yep. your nose and add power. Power on. Raise the nose. Coming this I'm way. I'm right. I'm doing it. And I need a quite severe turn, so I'm just gonna put in some angle. You're going left. I'm. This is the way I'm supposed to go, Sherman. Look. You, no, no, you're I not. I swear. Remember, it's an it's an angled deck. I swear it is. Right. Okay, how does that look? That looks much better to me. You still need to come right and kill your afterburner. Okay, actually you're coming out fairly well. Yep, Roger. It is a little bit to your right. Alright, so now remember. You keep your nose at 5 degrees above the horizon roughly and use your engine power to uh, raise your flight path marker. Do Khan. not use your nose. Khan is fighting me today for some reason. Come on, baby. You just need to get used to it. I don't know what it's doing this today. Right, I'm at 140. I'm happy with that. Stat uh, a static throttle now. I've just got to retrim it. I'm trimmed badly, that's why. I'm up and down all the time. Okay, I'm feeling good now. Confidence is coming back. To the Capitaine. Okay. All right. Paddles contact. Paddles contact. Here we come. Here's where the money maker is. Right, gotta slow down a little bit. No. Okay, so slow down by raising your nose. Nose going up. Firing. Okay, I'm I'm doing what you said now. The nose is up, just like you said. I'm feeling good. Okay, raise the nose a little more. Roger. Yep, yeah, I'm five degrees. A little more and add power. Power a coming on. Come on, baby, don't you okay. kill me. Don't you okay, kill you're me. You're on speed, add power. Power on. And full throttle. Bolter, bolter, bolter. You landed oh. too soon. Jesus, that was my stress level through the bloody roof. Right. Okay, ask, up. ask any carrier pilot about it and they will tell you that the most stressful part of their job is landing on a carrier. The, hit, the good thing is the sun is coming up, so this is going to get easier. Okay. Or rather, it was the most stressful part of their job until they started watching our videos and their blood pressure went through the roof. Correct, right. I've got a bit better visibility now, so I'm going to go on to... Burning on to final, I'm going to buzz you. You really don't need to be using afterburner in the uh, groove. Go to full mill if you have to, but unless you're about to crash. Fine. And for God's sake, don't raise your gear in flaps. Just keep those down. I wanted to buzz you. Hi, I'm Maverick. Zoom, buzz. Okay, I'm on my way out, Shermaine. Mill power. I just want to get some distance. Yeah. Come a bit more right so that you can do a proper turn in. Roger, coming right. Also, in case you haven't noticed behind you, if you look back, you can see the door, morning dawn is coming. Yeah, thank God. Thank goodness thank gracious. You'll you a little easier. I would never be able to land that at night. Okay, right. You, okay, try resetting the lights. I'm sorry. Using the request landing. Abort your landing and request hey, landing again to reset the lights. Okay, um... Stennis, 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 Stennis. Why is the stand? There it is. Two... Okay, it, uh, there was no abort option, it's reset, so it's all good. Ah, uh, that would explain it, wouldn't it? Right, okay, I'm going to turn in. I'm going to, sorry, I'm going to do my, start doing my yeah. jazz. Alright, so, landing hook down first. Landing hook down. Perhaps halfway down. Also, um, if you look on the left pit side below the landing light switch, hook bypass, make sure that it's set to carrier. Oh, and well turn off your anti-skid while you're there. Remind me where we're we looking? Left of your um, flaps, of your flap control, yep. and down and left yep. of that and your landing mic. We, yeah, they should really be set to carrier by automatic, shouldn't it? But never mind. Okay. Mm, no, that's not how it works. Flaps fully down, gear down. All checks done. Power, you're Oopsie. going to reach yep. your source speed, get you at the full mill. Full mill and turning left, requesting landing. This time, Germain, I'm going to do it proper. I said full mill, not afterburner. Uh, I, I can't hear the afterburner coming off. I have no way of knowing when my burners. 
You gotta look at your engine and get used to it. But still, how, how am I supposed to know? It doesn't say afterburner anymore, it doesn't have an afterburner light. You just look at the engine temperature information and the uh, FF. Fine. Right, I'm coming in. Get ready for me. Right. Yeah, well, the trim's already You've got quite a long lineup, so you should have plenty of time. Just be. Roger. Right. Oh, when I try and get. Be conservative this. with your inputs. Doesn't sound like Capital. I have no idea which way the deck is at the moment, even though it's getting light. I think I've got to go this way. Yeah, I've got to go this way. Uh, turn it! No, fine. Don't need it already, do I? Turn what? Well, you turned your light off, but I don't suppose I really need it uh, anymore. Yeah, uh, the whole point is that the carrier lights are there for you. If, um... I didn't realise I've gone this far out, really, but... Look at it this way, it gives you plenty of time to get it right. So what did we do wrong last time, do you think? Uh, too you... Early? You landed too early. too early. You actually landed in front of the wires. Do I want to land but on the wires? Yes, what you're trying to do is land on the wire area so your hook catches, because if you do it too early, you run the risk of what's known as a hook skip. Roger. As in, the hook literally bounces over the wires, and it's actually modelled. That's a damn thing. Right, I can see the orientation of the deck. I'm going to get myself into paddles. Stand by. Right. If, as you get closer, you'll notice there's a set of green lights with the orange slash red lights in the middle of it, just to the left of the runway lights. That's your meatball. That'll tell you how high or low you need to be. In other words, you need to add or decrease power. A for him. Right, making a slow turn in. Again, remember, you want to keep your nose on the horizon or get five degrees up. Five degrees work, yeah, yeah, Roger. At the moment, you're like 10 degrees down. Mm, yeah, it doesn't matter. I've got... I've got uh, oh, yeah, you're right. Okay, going up. I'm still trying to alarm myself, but I am too low. Right, nose up. Bit of power on. Aligning now, sure, mate. Your, your, power, your power is good. You're a little fast at the moment. Roger. It's coming down on the speed. You want to be at about 140 to 130. Roger. I'm about to hit paddles contact. Paddles contact. Right, let's do this. Right, slowing down. This time, Charmaine. This time, gotta do my checks quickly. Yep, hooks down. Little power. Bit of power. Nose coming up. Nose is up. All right, you're a little high. Yep. So I'm going to come down on power and keep the nose up. Yeah. Uh, only a little. You need to make minor adjustments. Mm, I'm very good at that. Trimming out. Getting the trim set. Trim is good. Trim is floating. Still too high. Got to come down on yeah. power again. <laughs> mm-hmm. Alright. And you are... Yeah. Too low? Question mark? No, you're fine for the moment. Okay, I'm at five degrees pitch. Come a little left. Turning, turning on. There you go. Are we too on high? I feel too high, Sherman. Am I too high? Yeah, okay. you're a little high. A tiny little reduction in power. Are you firm? Five little knots power. down. A little power on. Power. Power on. Yep. How's that feel, Sherman? So far, so good. Bolt. Fuck it! Alright, we're well, getting closer. Okay, I'll do a quick turn around. It's the first time I've not flared. Everyone says, don't flare, don't flare. As soon as I don't flare, I can't make it. Right, going around. I'm going to go around a quick uh, loop this time. The, like the, problem, the problem with flaring is that, well, basically you run the risk of uh, causing the hook to bounce a lot more. And you need to get used to using your power instead. I found Right, 170 knots, level with the carrier, we'll turn in, in in half a mile. Yeah, when you level out behind the carrier, you want to be at about 140 knots, remember to re-request landing so you have the lights. Turn again. Alright, begin your turn. Request you are people. getting a little low, add some yep. power and climb. Power climb. You want to keep your flight path marker in this turn 
at or just below the artificial horizon. Right, coming down a bit now. Hook is down. Yes, you're clear. You're you're configured for landing. Steep in the turn. Mmm, beautiful colours. Look at those colours, viewers. Beautiful. Yeah, remember, keep the nose between uh, neutral with the horizon and five degrees. Hey, firm. Got to make a turning correction. Yeah, just uh, correct the overshoot and get yourself nicely lined up. Coming down on power, feel too high. Yeah, you're very high. Keep the nose up, just down on power, that's good. Nose up, nose up, yep, I'm feeling good now. Oh, fuck's sake, I Okay, fell in. Yeah, just come a little right. You are still high. Alright, now you can come back left, a little power. Come left, a little power. Okay. Go coming high. Dickhead! Fuck that up, didn't I? And we go. Power, power. Hey, I got it, Sherman. Oh, holy shit! I didn't. I holy didn't. Holy shit! I, you did it. What a fluke! I, I, at the very last minute, I obviously noticed I wasn't going to land, so I just pulled up and burned us on and got the bloody thing. Well, that's going to be stressful in combat situations when we got no gas after a mission. I can tell you that. Bloody hell! Yes, this is, you see, this is why carriers carry their own tankers. Hey firm, hey firm. All right, that's good. Okay, all we've got to do now. Uh, thank you for watching, guys. We've got one more video to make, the silly one, and then we're off.